In this lesson, we are going to look at indices. Now, if we take a problem like we want to have on the board, 3 squared is going to mean the same as 3 times 3, because that's the nature of squaring. Now, if we have 3 to the power of 4, that's going to be the same sort of thing, but 4 times. So if we write that in brackets, and we can just times that by the other side, which is 3 to the power of 4, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. What we now need to do is simplify this up. We are effectively timesing 3 by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 6. If we refer this back to the original question, which is 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 4, that's the same as saying 3 to the 2 plus 4, which as we've just found, equals 3 to the power of 6. This works exactly the same for algebra. So if we take all these away, and try a similar question with algebra, such as p to the power of 4 times p to the power of 3, this is just simply going to be p to the power of 7, or 4 plus 3. Okay. If we were to make this a little bit more complicated and have coefficients, coefficients are numbers before the letters, for example, 2 times p to the 3 times 4 times p to the 6, we first of all start off by multiplying the numbers together, 2 times 4, which is 8, and then p to the 3 times p to the 6, which is going to be p to the 3 plus 6, or 8p to the 9. Okay. Right, we'll stop that one. Great. It's rolling now. So obviously we can edit out whatever we don't want. And the so. same thing to stop it. Yeah, we can just leave it. Okay. Right. Find out the bits. No, I'll be back in two minutes in here. Okay. As we've just found out, when we multiply the base numbers or base letters, we add the indices. So here we would have m, which doesn't change, and then to the power of 6 plus 4, which is 10. If we change this round and do the opposite to the base number m, and divide it, the opposite happens to the indices. So where before we added 6 and 4, now we take them away. So we have m to the power of 6 take away 4, or m to the power of 2. Try another example. If we have q to the power of 10, and we divide this by q to the power of 7, the answer will be q to the power of 10 minus 7, or q to the 3. To make it a little bit more complicated, we can add in coefficients like we did before. 20p to the 4 divided by 5p to the 3. First of all, we divide the numbers here. 20 divided by 5 is 4. p to the 4 divided by p to the 3 is p to the 1. Or we can just write p times that. 4p. Division questions are often written differently to this, where there is a line going through instead of a division sign. And we could have a question such as 45q to the 6, and there could be more, di more numbers in there, or more letters, p to the 3. Divide by 9, q to the 3, p. This is obviously a more complicated question, but still we've broken down the same way. 45 divided by 9 is 5. q to the power of 6 divided by q to the power of 3 is q to the 6 take away 3, or 3. p to the 3 divided by p can be p squared. 
that's your answer. One more time. 25 m n squared divided by 5 m squared n. Careful here, because now we have a lower number on top than we did on the bottom. 25 divided by 5 first, which is 5. m to the 1, take away the 2, is going to be m to the minus 1. And n to the 2, take away n to the 1, will be n to the 1. Or just 5, m to the minus 1, n.